Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another Grand Arena video. So every time new season of Grand Arena starts, we have to figure out what to do with all these new data crons. So this is the start of 5v5 and I've seen already this latest data cron set in 3v3, but as we know 3v3 is a totally different animal than 5v5, so it feels like every time new season is around, we gotta figure out what all these data crons do. And now my opponent today is... Um, Quads, I guess. I'm gonna just call him Quads. Um, he is a member of Les Bantans Mutants Guild. Um, sounds French. Uh, so let's look at his roster. He obviously, uh, here in Kyber 1, everybody's got everything already, so no need to look at the units. Uh, now, in terms of, as you can see, he's got lots of Relic 9s. Uh, he's got like a lot of them, only a couple of them. Of course, he got uh, Third Sister Riva there at Relic 9 as well. Mine's Relic 5A, at least I got her unlocked, right? So, definitely in terms of Relic advantage, definitely big advantage on his side. Oh, also, for Data Crons, he's got about, I don't know, double Data Crons than me and maybe three times as many level 9 Data Crons. So, definitely we're up against. Uh, an opponent that takes his data crons way more seriously than I do. On the positive side, not a whole lot of difference on the GP sort of thing. So hopefully, you know, we do have a chance here as long as we can figure out these data crons and everything. All right, let's hop now onto the board and see what's happening. So you can see he full cleared me. So now the pressure is on me uh, to do the same. Uh, so what I'll do first, I think, is I'll just go to the top first and let's see uh, if Treya still works, I don't know, uh, after the fix uh, to Riva there, uh, applying death mark on Treya. Treya is not as reliable anymore, but let's see if I can make it work. Uh, definitely after the fix, I think you do need Savage in there, um, and then I just bring in Talon also for some extra durability, I guess. Okay, uh, in terms of later crowns, I'm not sure what I want to bring in, to be honest. Um, so maybe I think I'll settle for this one. A little bit of health, I guess. We do get more, more bonus protection, but we get more damage from uh, Death Mark. But at least maybe some armor there. Because uh, let's check out their data crown, actually. Uh, so this, they have a lot of um, critical damage. So maybe we can offset some of that. All right, all right, Rhea, let's see what's going to happen. Because uh, if this doesn't work, then obviously I have to totally change my plan here for uh, this round. Okay, there we go. They go first, going after Savage. There we go. Uh, okay, we got a couple of cooldown increases. Here comes the death mark on Treya. Okay, hang in there, girl. Help is on the way. Oh boy, that does not look good. Let's get all those buffs off them. Okay, uh, let's do that, I guess. We really need Savage to get in here. Alright, all right, another turn for Nihilus. Another cooldown increase. Come on, just hang in there, Treya. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Whew. Okay, we got Riva down. Not out of the woods just yet. We really need to see if we can keep Treya alive. Hmm, what I want to do here. Let's see if we can get Seven Sister out. Down she goes. Come on, Treya. Hang in there, girl. One more head. Hang in there. Um, let's go after Inquisitor. Freya girl, hang in there. Whew. All right, uh, let's go after Grand Inquisitor next. Oh, there we go. Oh, Treya healed up. Uh, or I guess all those ability blocks that Grand Inquisitor applied there healed my Treya right back up. Uh, do you know what? Let's just get him down. There we go. Go after Eighth Brother next, I guess. There we go. He got damage immunity. Okay. Alright, uh, he got damage immunity also, that's from the data crown, I guess, so I can go ahead and dispel it, finish him. Okay, that was a close one, guys, very close. So, I guess Treya still kind of works, but not, you know, like, very comfortably as it did before. It is a bit of a uh, butt clenching situation, so I think that armor, a little bit help there, offset some of the damage these guys were putting out, I'm not sure. Now, the next team, again, I don't know what I'm going to do about is this one. 5v5 with Cal and Cal's data cron. Now it's quite a wordy data cron. I don't want to read through all of this. Um, but there is one bit here on level 9 for Cal that says that the weakest enemy is stunned at the start of their turn and then they gain a bonus turn. Now why I think this is it? Because um, if enemy starts turn first, then I think uh, Cal gets extra 15 stacks of his whatever. 
uh, so he gets quicker to 30 to get mass ability block on everybody so this is definitely going to be an annoying team to deal with um, so what I will try again I have no idea uh, if you know star killer can um, make this work or not but again I have no idea who, which one of my guys will get that bonus turn beginning who actually is the recast uh, because obviously there is a lot of um, different here health and protection bonuses between you know Mara, Pulps, Leadership, Pulps Unique, Unique from Star Killer, and so on. Um, so we'll see what happens. I have absolutely no idea um, if my Relic 5 Star Killer can carry this or not. Now I did bump my Mara up to Relic 7 just so I can use this Data Crown, but again I'm not sure how helpful this Data Crown is. Uh, Sure, we get some extra potency, I guess for old Ben, so he can land his ability blocks maybe. Extra little bit protection, a little bit critical damage, and then quite a lengthy level 6 one. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly it does, but looks like whenever we dispel debuffs, we gain... F wow, whenever we critically hit, we dispel debuffs and gain a 5% turn meter. That might help. And then Mara's level 9, I'm not sure, is it really all that helpful? Um, We'll have to wait and see, I guess, uh, how it works in practice. Um, Alright, let's, uh, I guess, hop into battle and we'll just try and uh, figure it out as we go along here. Well, see, R2 with smoke screen could be annoying. Uh, okay. Uh, wasn't somebody supposed to get a bonus turn? I don't know, maybe I've misread something. Uh, I'm not sure what I want to do here, to be honest. Um, usually we like to stun Ben, don't we? And then we get shocks, some staggers, hopefully. See if we can push back R2. Perfect. Okay. Um, Alright, maybe get a stun. There we go, we get a stun on Cal. <laughs> um, what do I want to do here? Maybe get that off Ray. Uh, let's go ahead, dispel all the buffs. Um, okay, let's just keep pushing, I guess, on Ray here. Get some ability blocks. I guess get Ray into damage immunity. There we go. Uh, maybe get a stun on Cal again. Perfect. Okay, we'll just keep going here. Uh, see if we can get Ben into yellow. Perfect. Alright, get Cal in yellow, maybe. Okay, maybe push back R2. Ooh, nearly got him though. Hmm. Let's see what we can do. Okay, we got Cal down as well. Uh, get, I guess, Ray also. Okay, so we got everybody in the yellow now. Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, we just need obviously Ray to get a turn now. Okay, maybe let's do that. And let's get Shock back on everybody. Alright, um, okay, let's get the Inspiration of Ray. Uh, get a Tone Top. Uh, maybe they can do some of that. Okay, we need a ray to get a turn actually. Uh, just do basic. Okay. I'm probably doing something wrong here. Oh no, this guy healed up. Okay. So we need to get a shock obviously on this guy. Uh, what's his name? Cal. Alright, uh, we gotta take ray all the way down. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Alright, I'll just pull it down, see what happens. Okay, get Ray down. Oh! Got everybody down. Okay, that worked. I was a little bit worried. Um, with that Cal's bonus turn level 9, but it didn't happen. So I must have misread something. I don't know, I'll have to go back and check. But that worked okay. So I've got the two, I guess, unsure team from the top wall down. So let's now go back to the bottom. Again, I'm not exactly sure what I'll do to the, to, the, uh, mm, to the other teams up up top, but we'll have to worry about it later. Okay, so we have to take care of uh, Lord Vader now. 
So what I would like to try, maybe this is not going to be work at all. I have no idea. Um, okay, um, I had some limited success with this actually in uh, squad arena. So I just want to check does this apply to grand arena as well. Um, so I've got this data cron here where we get 100% more damage for our unaligned force users. Um, so hopefully Supreme Leg Caroline can do some big hits. Uh, they obviously do have uh, this overtime thingy. Luckily no armor or anything like that. So hopefully we can knock these guys down very quickly. Alright, let's see if this is going to work. Well, at least I can get a couple of guys down and then we can clean up with something. I don't know. This Kylo vs Lord Vader. Battles can always go a bit south. Okay, that mole will go. Uh, we're gonna do a poke. Uh, we're gonna pass turn over here, do an AoE. Okay, do over here. And hopefully, hopefully this kills mole. Come on mole, go down. There we go. Didn't take Vader down though, uh oh. Okay, well at least we've got mole down. Uh, but we still have to worry about Vader now, because he's gonna go into Merciless any moment now. And a Relic 9 Royal Guard is thick, man. Okay, do some of that. Uh-oh. Ooh! 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 Okay. Uh, Let's see if we can save Hux, I guess. Uh, do an AoE. Okay. Man, that Royal Guard is really thick, man. Okay. Do this again. See if we can get the Darth Vader out with another AoE soon. There we go. Okay. Well, he got to the ultimate, though. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead into ultimate as well now. Okay. Alright, do some of that. Now let's uh, build up some stacks. Okay. Alright, come on, Kylos, you've got this. You've got this, Kylos. All right. Uh, not nearly now. That's a relic nine, Lord Vader. It's gonna take a couple of minutes to ramp up. Well, just hopefully I can ramp up faster than he can. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Luckily, he's got health still. So if he keeps healing back up, uh, we'll be able to crit him again. Okay. My other Kylo barely hanging in there. Okay. Come on, get him down. Oh, it wasn't enough. Uh oh. Okay, well, let's do that. What's your basic? Okay, I got ultimate now. Uh, okay, let's do a swipe. Um, I'll do another swipe. Uh, come on, get him down. Oh, almost got him. Oh boy. Come on. Come on. There we go. Woo. Man, these Kylo vs. Lord Vader battles are always tricky. Alright. Man, if I would have only got Darth Vader down faster there, maybe could have been better. But anyway, we got through this Vader, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, let's see what we're gonna do now. Uh, we've got obviously um, this Malgus team here. Um, so I, I kept my Ray for offense just because if you've seen like. Star Killer in 5v5, I don't know, just kind of have an easy way, mostly with Ray, so just kind of keeping my Ray for offense these days. Uh, okay, let's see what team we can put around Ray here. So I think I'll just go with this. Hopefully, um, it's been, it's gonna be enough. Uh, let's see what I've got. They got like, armor, armor penetration. Okay. 
Uh, I do have uh, Ben's data crown here uh, with some health still, so hopefully it'll help a little bit healing up. Um, let's we'll just go in and um, see if we can make this work. Uh, hopefully Malgus just doesn't one-shot somebody at the beginning. Um, but uh, let's see how, what, how we want to do this. Um, I'll just keep Ben alive, I guess. Okay. 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 Alright, I'm just in the whirlwind. There we go. Uh oh. Ooh. Um. I guess let's try and keep Holdo alive for the moment. Um. I don't know, should we go after Basti first? Just put that over her. Uh, I don't know what I want to do here, to be honest. Um. No using smoke screen because <laughs> everybody's basically um, shocked anyways. Okay, let's get into the ultimate. Uh, I'm just gonna keep working on Basti in the meantime. Here comes Fear again. All right, we got Talon out. Uh, okay, oof. Oof. All right, let's get Malak out. Oh, it wasn't enough. Yikes. Come on, just get him down. There we go. Okay, got Malak down. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. All right, another ultimate. Perfect. Uh, let's see if we can get Basti down. wasn't nearly enough. Oh, man, constant fear from Revan is really annoying. Okay. Alright, let's get the Revan out because he's really annoying me with his constant fear. Um, well, I guess. As long as Ray is above 50% health, Mal Malgus can't um, kill Ben. And as long as Ben is alive, he can't kill Ray. So let's see if we can survive to another ultimate, and then that should be enough, I guess. Man, it's not going to be a great banner win, but... Come on, get him down. Got armor shred. Oof. Well, Malgus got the right idea. He knows who to go for, right? Okay. Alright. Not a high banner win, but luckily my opponent, he didn't score the most efficient... efficient banners all around, so... Hopefully won't bite us in the end all right so we got this um uh what's his face general skywalker squad not sure what i want to do here do you want to bring some support here um maybe i could solo this but again let's just bring an extra help just in case and i don't know uh where we got some, maybe something with a little bit extra health um, something with a little bit extra health. There we go. I'll take a little bit of extra health and armor. Um, what they've got. They've got armor. Well, doesn't really matter, I guess. We'll just get through them. As long as they don't have armor penetration on them, hopefully we should be good to go. Uh, probably... Well, I believe Sith Empire Trooper, but I don't know. I... Solo probably would work, but I don't know. Just feel a little bit safer bringing an extra friend in here. Um... Just so that uh, Gaz doesn't get armor shred on my uh, Sif Eternal. Or maybe he will because they dispel the tone there. Okay, good. Yeah, he put armor shred on Sif Trooper. That's good. Alright, and now uh, you know the drill. We just have to get fives down. Um, Gaz is not getting up. So we don't have to worry about him for the time being. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not get defense up? Okay, let's see. Well, I'm not really sure that Sif Empire Trooper did a whole lot, to be honest. <laughs> so maybe I should have just done solo. We'll see. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, relink him. I'm going to go ahead and uh, link uh, Arc Trooper. For now. Okay, and uh, we have to burn down fives first. Okay. Okay, I'll just keep healing up. Um, don't want to go into ultimate here, really, versus gas, so we can keep recovering uh, protection. Man, that's a thick fives. 
Come on. Come on. Come on, Emperor, you've got this. There we go. Got him down. Okay, I'm just gonna have to Rex. Mm, should probably relink actually. Yes, let's go ahead. Uh, link you up. I'm gonna link Arc Trooper because these are now the two main damage dealers. Um, so I'm gonna go after Rex then next. Oop. There we go. Keep healing up. Mm hmm. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Got him down as well. Going after Arc Trooper next. Okay. All the way back to full health and protection almost. Okay. Now let's go ahead and heal up. Basic over here. And here comes Gas with a couple of hits. And I come with another hit. A heal. Ah, I wasn't able to get him down. Alright, cool. There we go. Alright, again, same. Not maybe uh, solo would be more banners, but again, I don't have to like banner pinch too much here. Now the question is, what do we do with this trench team here? Because obviously Bad Batch could be the obvious choice here, but uh, because of level 6 here, um, Separatists are immune to days. Then there's a whole lot of big block of text on level 9 for Trench. I just can't be bothered to read, to be honest. And generally I have no idea what Trench does. Um, so maybe, I know it might be an overkill, but should we just do Jedi here uh, and call it a day? I'm not sure. Um, I almost feel like... Um, okay, let's bring in Shock maybe. Um, bring Barris maybe for the heal. Um, maybe Alia for the stuns. Maybe something like that. Um, do you want to save Genite Luke Skywalker for something? I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, let's let's uh, protection. So what we got? We got seven percent only. Um, oh, Alia's uh, only level three. Uh, relic free, unfortunate. Let's see if we can put a um, better Jedi here with high relics. Man, um, sure, Kid Fist is relic five. Although Kid Fist won't really do a whole lot of well, he can use inherited teachings on somebody, so that'll help, I guess. Okay, I feel like I do want to bring Jedi at Luke because we can't daze them, then at least uh, we can stun them, right? All right, let's see. Hopefully this works. Um, no idea. Okay. All right. Obviously, if I do an AOE, I'll get counterattacked. I don't want that. Um, so maybe we'll just start. Start actually um, working towards the ultimate. There we go. Get a stun. And we'll just keep going after trench. Okay. There we go, got Trench down, although he can bring him back, can't he? Let's get Extortion off, so let's see if we can actually go after what next. If we can actually f take him down so he doesn't bring back Trench. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Um, Maybe go after Dooku next. Okay, there we go. Alright, ooh, they did, did quite a lot of damage actually. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, do this. Hit Alt. Django really worries me. <laughs> so we are not... Okay, there we go. Stun. Perfect. Uh, let's actually take care of Django first. Because he can ignore taunts. Uh, do you know what? I might regret this, but let's just go ahead. Oh, that worked. Um... Okay, let's see if we can heal somebody up a little bit. Okay. So now we just get twice through Newt. Uh-huh. Okay, perfect. Shaq, tell me you've got a heal. There we go. Uh, we can go ahead. Heal up. Perfect. And finish their Newt. And there we go. I don't know, guys. Maybe an overkill, but... Anyway, these days, what does Je Jedi Master Luke do anyway these days in 5v5? Doesn't do a whole lot, does he? Okay, so what do we got at the back? Okay, so we got Hux. We got 
Zori, oh man. And we've got Afra. And then up top. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got Dash and we've got Sana. Alright guys, uh, let me take a break for a few minutes just to figure out what I'm gonna do. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I made a rough plan. It's gonna be a tough one. Uh, but definitely Hondo in here. Not ideal, but usually Bad Batch works. But with Hondo in there going first, removing center meter from my guys. Not sure how that will pan out. Uh, let's see if we can find some data current with potency. Um, armor penetration, resistance penetration. I think I'll go with this one. Um, there we go. And let's check out their data crown. So they've got armor penetration, armor, 50% health, yikes. Alright, let's see guys, I have no idea. Um, let's just hop in the badland. Hopefully, uh, we can do something here. Okay, so Honda goes first. Removes their meter, but we're still able to go. Okay. Uh, let's get off all those uh, buffs. See if we can get some stuns. Um, let's go ahead and do this. And let's see if we can get Sana down. There we go. There we go, Joan AoE. Perfect. Uh, let's get another stack of translation over on Echo. Um, maybe get a round of stuns again. Perfect. I'm just gonna take these guys down. Healing immunity days and everything. Okay, get hunt down, I guess. Swap turn. And I'll just take care of Honda now. Okay, that worked well. Alright. I didn't know how it's gonna play out, but luckily uh, I was fast enough there that even with turn meter removal, I was still able to go before them. Okay, so that's that's good. Uh, so let's actually take care of um, uh, that um, story team at the bottom. Now I was debating what to do here. Um, I'll give it a go. I have my own Zori, but she's not relic, so I can't actually use any data crons. But I, I am my team is faster, um, so I'm thinking to do this. So they obviously got the level 9 Zori data cron, they've got retribution as well, which is not ideal. Um, they've got all kinds of nonsense here, uh, but I had a look and I don't think there is any team here on the board left that I can use these guys up again. So at least I can give it a go, um, just to make sure my thing goes first. There we go, 357. Um, so we should go first and hopefully get some turn meter train rolling. Let's go and find out. Okay. All right. Um, are we gonna get counterattacked, won't we? Um. All right. Well, let's go ahead and do this. All right. So which one is the assist, the dispel? No. Deal physical damage. Well, doesn't she have like a? The... Yeah, call resistance allies to assist. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Let's push back some turn meter. Uh, let's. Um, hmm. How do I want to do this? Okay. Let's keep hitting those exposes. Okay. All right. Dispel that. Uh oh. Okay. Um, hmm. um, I think I can take an AoE because my tanks are not taunting. Hmm, this is not going well, is it? Let's see if we can get thin out. Okay, okay, making progress here. Um, let's see if we can get Poe down. Um, sure, do some of that. Hmm. 
Maybe get exposed. Perfect. And stun. Good. Okay. Come on, Zori. Get in here, girl. Girl. No exposes. Okay. Keep going. Give me assists. Uh, let's get Zori again here. Keep going. Oh, I can actually talk. Oh, there we go. Let's do it like this. Okay. I think we should be good here. Definitely the um, retribution here is annoying. But there we go. We got it. Okay. Ah. Come on, somebody get her down. Okay. There we go, let's heal up. And I think that should be the end of Zori. There we go, okay, that worked. That worked, I'm happy with this. Um, speed does matter more than data cron sometimes, I guess. So that's good, because like this Zori team is really annoying if they get going. So I'm glad this kind of worked out. Okay, so I want to get back to the bottom. Sorry, I'm jumping. I'm just like eliminating the trigger, the, like the teams. I'm not sure what to do with them. Um, so what I think I'll do here, I'll check the speed on dash. Because it's not the fastest dash out there. Um, I would imagine Nest isn't very fast as well, right? Okay, good. Maybe we can do bounty hunters here uh, with aura lead, obviously. Uh, where is... Rambit Bounty Hunters, we bring Izam obviously for the speed boost and I hope that should be okay as long as we don't get dodges and stuff. Um, in terms of data crown, I don't know, I mean if they get a turn I'm cooked anyway mm, but I guess some armor here would be nice um, just in case they do get a turn. All right, it's been a while since I used Bounty Hunters for anything um, on offense like this it's been getting really difficult because of all those data crons to do something with aura okay now get a taunt up get assists um sure get some assists over here okay let's take out dash okay just need a basic get some bombs out Let's get a taunt up again. Dispel that. Um, put a hit over there. See if we can get Vander down. Nope. Uh, maybe get a stun on Nest. I doubt it. Uh, too much tenacity. Okay, I guess uh, next Disintegrate will go on Nest. Let's hope Nest doesn't wreck us in the process there. Oof. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I brought that armor, uh, extra armor data crown in here, because they are putting some hits now. Okay, that's fine. Do we have a disintegrate online though? That's the question. Let's get a taunt back up. Uh, not quite yet. We need one more turn. Okay, I'll just do some of that again. Okay, let's see if we can get a turn before Ness does. Luckily she's slow. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's get Ness down. Okay, good. Alright, good. Okay. Yeah, I completely forgot about bounty hunters. Like I was thinking, man, what to do with this dash team? Um, but you know, with all with without all those crazy data crons for dash and stuff. Can I actually get something to work here with bounty hunters? Also, there was a period where kind of bounty hunters we were used to kind of counter Lord Vader, but man, Lord Vader keeps getting some data crons to stop uh, that to work. Oh man, this Alpha is really thick now, isn't she? Um, do you know what? I think I'm just gonna hit auto because I don't want to time out here. Uh, because both Vander Chewie and Alpha are very, very, ta very tanky, so I need to get through both of them. I'm halfway through the battle now. Two and a half minutes. All right, let's see. Come on, boys, you got this. There we go. Yeah, go after the the Chewy next. That's correct. Go after the Wookie. 
I think it was a good idea to bring some extra armor on Datacron because it did take a couple of turns to get the centigrade out. So, you know, Bosk was there tanking like a champ. There we go. We get Vander Chewy down the old fashioned way, or we're gonna need the centigrade for him. There we go, we got him down. Uh, now we just have to deal with Han here. Got him down as well, perfect. Alright, Han gone down also. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, let's uh, reveal the ship zone. Uh, see what we got to defeat in the ship zone to get a full clear. Um, okay, so just kind of standard stuff ish. I will get to the ships at the very end. Let's see if we can do something like that. Now, the reason why I wanted to try uh, their Zori mirror match is so I can keep, keep Master Kenobi here. Uh, to take down Afra. I'm assuming this is gonna work, right? Um, okay, so we could take Ahsoka, uh, bring in Mace, uh, let's bring in Padme, I guess. So yeah, I think, I think I'll just go with this. Um, I was just debating whether to keep it or not, but I only got Hux to defeat there. So I think I'll just throw Qui-Gon at those guys uh, and hopefully we can just nuke them. Um, so I don't actually, I'm not gonna be using Jedi Trevan today, it seems. Um, in terms of... Um, uh, mods just to get something with lots of health, I guess, so we get lots of bonus protection. Okay, well, let's go. Because, yeah, if, if that uh, Zora Mirror match wouldn't work, I would have to then use Kenobi on on, um, on Zori, then I wouldn't have anything for Afra. Okay, well, let's do some of that. And just knock out Afra out, I guess. Uh, maybe an overkill bringing full five, but um, I don't know. Let's go ahead and see if we can kick HK out of here. There we go, we got him down. Let's spread some buffs. Uh, see if we can get down Trip as well. So, okay. All right, that's fine. Let's go ahead and swap Termeter over here. Get him down. Swap with Kenobi. There we go, perfect. Oh, he survived that? Okay. Do they have armor or what? Oh yeah, they've got lots of armor. No wonder they survived that. Alright, just down to um IG over here. Uh man, even IG is tanky as hell, alright? <laughs> okay, there we go. That should finish him. There we go. Okay, so we've got only Hux and the ships. Um so for Hux, um because it's uh, Omicron on the, the first order type pilot, um I think I'll just do this. Um I don't know. Hopefully this is going to work. I'll uh, just bring in my Qui-Gon team. Uh, let's see. They've got some critical damage. Okay. Uh, let's see if I've got some critical damage on mine as well. Um, Alright, 100% extra critical damage. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's see how this is going to work. Um, well, we do start with Force at the Hux. We'll probably just dispel it right with his Mass Assist. Oh, we actually get to go first. Okay. Let's get some armor shred over there. Get a dispel. Okay, then they go. Uh, yeah, sure. Just do that. Get hugs down. Okay, okay, easy, boys. Easy. Okay, let's get him down. Perfect. Uh, yeah, let's finish off pilot, I guess. Ahsoka. What? Alright, I wasn't expecting that. Alright, I guess all that extra critical damage does help. Alright, there we go. Didn't even lose Qui-Gon, so that was a clean win, as clean as they go with Qui-Gon, isn't it? Alright, so only ships standing in the way. Um, Let's check out his ships. Um, now, normally what I would like to do here... Uh, where is Execute? Execute tricks. That's what I would normally like to do here. Um, Relic 7, okay, what's the speed? 190. 190, okay. I think we should still be good though, right? Um, I like to usually just do this. This is like all what we need, really. Alright, uh, let's hope for the battle. I mean, these ones are always a bit of an RNG fest, but... So far, I haven't lost yet. Um, let's hope I didn't just jink myself here. All right. So what do we do? We put a hit over on IG, get up the mark. 
Uh, then you want to block Razor Crest. Okay, they got him down. Perfect, that's what you want. And then let's go ahead and bring in Tide Defender. And uh, get a stun over here. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. What are they gonna do? Go after another fighter. Oof, okay, let's get... There we go, we got Xanadu down. Uh, well, we can keep working on IG, I guess. There we go, IG's down as well, perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and... Um, heal Vader up a bit. Uh, get some extra turn meter for the team, and we'll just keep going. Come on, almost got him. Get him down. Ah. Uh, wasn't able to get down. Well, usually that happens. Like, I, I, I never am able to burn Razor Crest down before uh, they bring in another reinforcement. Um, I'll just keep doing basics here. Okay. Let's hopefully get some buff immunity now on, on Houndstooth. Perfect. I'm going to do an AoE. Uh, we'll just keep going after Houndstooth. Ah, they're going to heal up. Okay. Hmm. To the basics. Okay. Do some of that. That was a nice big hit. Um, let's see if we can heal up those guys. Come on. There we go. Perfect. All right. I think they're gonna bring in Boba next. Oh no, they will not. All right. Perfect. Sixty-nine. And funny enough, that's usually how many banners always get with this counter. Sixty-nine. I'll take it. Alright, so we've only got two ships here to go, so here I'm just going to bring in my own executor. Yeah, I just like to keep the good ships for offense, because ships sometimes can be such an RNG fest. Um, Alright, here we go. Um, just going to start, I guess, the usual lineup, bring in a couple of reinforcements. Again, don't need to banner pinch here, uh, because, uh, yeah, my opponent wasn't the most efficient there. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, well, I'll just get Vulture Droid down, I guess. There we go. What they've got for me? Okay, we got some uh, Vulture Droid. Uh, sorry, Buzz Droid's coming in. Uh, yeah, go after Sandfuck, I guess. Okay. There we go. One hit, two hit. Keep going. Okay, that's fine. Houndstooth is a big boy. He can take a couple of buzz droids. And uh, let's just go ahead and get those buzz droids off Houndstooth now. Um, let's go ahead and uh, bring some reinforcements. Get some ability blocks, I guess. There we go. Okay, was that Spy? Okay. Oh, clever Spy. He got my um, Z my um, Zanadu blood. Clever, clever spy. Well, there we go. Was, was able to clean up. So let's go ahead and dispel all of this. Uh, let's unload a big seismic charge from uh, Boba. The Juna AoE sniping some banners. Yeah, I mean, Malama is actually as good on defense as sniping banners in most cases. So you can't go wrong with putting Malavalence on defense these days, really. Alright, so 72 banners. And obviously, we've got one more battle to go. Um, so we got profundity left. Now my profundity is uh, six stars, which means I lose four banners by default because I do not have the last uh, reinforcement slot activated. A little bit annoying, uh, but you know, ten blueprints at the time, I guess we'll get there. I'm not really sure what I want to do with the reinforcement. Um, I want to bring in Cassian. Is this Cassian? Yeah, uh, that's that's more than enough probably. So we got Y wing, Outrider, Falcon, and profundity all right let's hop in a battle and hopefully we can make we get lots of assists here from falcon so we can make a quick work of these guys all right here we go uh yeah we'll just go out to anakin i guess try to nuke him okay there we go perfect all right they put unending loyalty now on everybody unfortunately got healing immunity hmm I think this dispels, right? 
Yeah, so let's go ahead and get this buff immunity off us so we can keep our Y-Wing alive, hopefully. Uh, well, sure, just knock that out. Okay. Alright, let's get some download progress done here. Alright, come on, keep going. Is it plow? It is plow, okay. Not ideal, but we'll take it, we'll take it. Um, yeah, let's actually bring in uh, Phantom now, and we'll just keep hammering away at their Y Wing, I guess. Okay, get those oh, shenanigans down. Okay, Anakin's out in the open. I know he's got an ending loyalty, but. Uh, oh, an AoE should finish him off. There we go, perfect. Because they've got their AoE coming in now. Alright, that's fine, and. Um... All right, fine. Well, let's go ahead. Download progress complete. Let's just go ahead and do that. I um, just need to finish off these guys now. Okay, heal up a bit. Get him down. Get him down and just blow. Yeah, sure. Bring in Cassian. Why not? So we can get some nice assist and hopefully finish this. There we go. Down they go. Perfect. So there we go. 71. If you would have a seven star, that would be obviously a 75 banner ring, but. Mine's at 6, so I always kind of lose 4 banners there, but luckily, uh, like I didn't have to be the most efficient with my attacks because my opponent uh, wasn't as nearly as efficient as I was. I can actually show you just that you see what happened here. Um, so there we go, they needed 2 attempts for my trench, it's probably one of those things where, you know, it's the first time we do see trench in 5v5 with his 11 line data from, and maybe they just didn't know exactly what to do. I decided not to do that. Just throwing master look at them, you know, overkill it because yeah, I don't want to get stuck behind trench. Uh, and then looking at the back zone, uh, looks like that they, uh, they need three battles for my dash. I'm not saying dash was that great on defense, but probably they didn't have a lot left once they got to the back because if I show you the top zone as well, um, they were having some uh, issues here. Uh, my suspicion is because looking at, you know, they also had what, like 5 Galactic Legends on offense, same as me, so I'm suspecting that they, they tried Treya versus my, um, versus, uh, my Reva and that didn't work, uh, I, I would imagine so, and then obviously they needed to two-shot my Vader as well, so curious to see, uh, what they obviously used on offense, um, uh, once the GSC history comes live, also one-shot my ships, uh, so there we go. Alright, so overall, you know, not like um, the most efficient run for me today, but luckily I didn't have to be. Uh, definitely didn't know exactly how some of these battles would turn out, so hopefully it was useful and helpful just showing you, you know, all these new data crons in action. But let me know how you guys are getting on in Grand Arena. Until then, have fun, enjoy life, and may the RNG be with you, my friends.